Hello, this is Mr. Tubb, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to make the foldable for uh, weathering. There are two types of weathering, so there's going to be two different foldables that we're going to create today. Um, so if you need to at any point um, stop or rewind um, the video, then go ahead and do that, and it should help you create this. So you need a basic piece of paper, um, and we do have two colors in class. We have pink, and then I believe yellow we're going to be working with. So first step is you take one corner of the foldable or the piece of paper, fold it down until it comes to a point. And then this portion you're actually going to get rid of. So you can take scissors and you can cut along here or you can fold it and um, get rid of that. So I'm just going to take scissors really quickly, cut it right along that line. Okay, pretty quick. So, there you go. And then you can unfold it. So you should have pretty much what looks like a square. Now the opposite direction, go ahead and fold that corner to corner. There you go. So what you should have is a piece of paper just like this. Okay. All right. Now this is the last little piece. You just fold everything in, so corner to corner, or the one corner, I guess, to the center is not really corner to corner. Same thing on this side. And then same thing on the other two corners. Okay, so what you should have is a box that unfolds just like this. So here's what we're going to be doing with this. So on the back, I want you to label it with the appropriate um, type of weathering. And that'll be for the whole thing. And of course, put your name. So I'm going to put Mr. Tub. That's my name. And then I'm going to put um, chemical weathering. On the back. So then whenever I actually use this, I will put the type of chemical weathering here. So one type there, another type here, another type here, and so on. Now underneath, underneath this, this is where I'm going to actually put the explanation. So this is where I'm going to explain all the details right here. And it, you actually have this entire section for this particular weathering type. So when you are finished, you'll have a nice foldable on the four types of chemical weathering. And then you'll do the same thing, except the other one you will have a yellow paper. And then these two, of course, you can um, punch and keep track of.